Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing schwannoma. So this is a case one. 44-year-old man presented with loss of hearing and tinnitus. MRI revealed a lobulated solid cystic extraaxial mass in the right cerebellopontine angle cistern extending into the right internal auditory canal. So this is a T2-weighted axial image. Uh, this is the gross of uh, the tissue, the tumor which was excised and sent. This is case 2, 52-year-old man presented with neck pain. MRI revealed a lobulated, well-defined intra as well as extra dural soft tissue mass in the right C2, C3 neural foramen with right paraspinal extension. And it measured approximately 3.9 into 1.3 into 2.9 centimeters with large extension into the spinal canal. The lesion is well and encapsulated and shows heterogeneous hyper intense signal on T2 weighted images and ISO intense signal on T1 weighted images. Uh, now, this is the intraoperative squash cytology of case one. Uh, the smears are cellular and you can see uh, the neoplastic spindle cells are arranged in bundles and fascicles and leading to a twisted rope appearance. You can see this here and the cells are elongated with tapering ends. This is typical of the Schwann cells and these have moderate amount of cytoplasm. Now we should remember that uh, Schwannomas are difficult to crush so when it is a cp angle tumor one must also keep in mind the possibility of a fibrous meningioma but most of the times it is schwannoma so coming to histopathology of case one uh, the tumor showed two basic architectural patterns in varying proportion that is the typical uh, antony a areas which is uh, composed of compact elongated spindle cell with nuclear palisades and a lesser cellular area which is composed of uh, loose architecture indistinct cytoplasmic uh, processes and variable lipidi lipidization. So you can see here there is a striking uh, nuclear palisades which are formed from the stacked arrays of the nuclei with alternating unnuclear unnucleate zones. So these are the Veroke bodies. You can see the Veroke bodies here. These are a cellular masses. So a Veroke body is composed of central cellular fibrillary material. Uh, the tumor showed uh, vascular hyalinization and there were also inflammatory infiltrates such as lymphocytes, plasma cells and foci of hemorrhages were also noted. So uh, the schwannoma is positive for S100 and SOX10 and the proliferation index is low. So a diagnosis of schwannoma was rendered. So coming to discussion, uh, schwannomas are benign nerve sheet tumors which are composed entirely or nearly entirely of differentiated neoplastic Schwann cells and these correspond to CNS WHO grade 1. Schwannomas account for 8% of all intracranial tumors and 90% are solitary and sporadic. These may occur at all the ages and there is no particular sex predilection. Schwannomas may be component of NF2. Bilateral vestibular schwannomas is a pathognomonic diagnostic feature of neurofibromatosis 2 caused by inactivating the alteration of NF2 gene product Merlin on chromosome 22q12.2. Other characteristic lesions frequently encountered in NF2 are multiple schwannomas, meningiomas, uh, ependymomas, and ocular lesions. However, population-based study 
revealed that such lesions do not develop in all NF2 cases, that is 41% lack the above features and the other diagnostic criteria becomes essential to prove it is a case of NF2. Uh, schwannomas, no, schwannomatosis, this is characterized by multiple schwannomas, mostly in absence of the vestibular nerve involvement. It is often associated with pain and schwannomatosis shows germline mutations of either smark b1 or lzrt1 tumor suppressor gene in approximately 69 to 86 percent of patients with familial schwannomatosis and even 40 percent in sporadic schwannomatosis uh, coming to localization these are intracranial in location and they account for 85% of the CP angle tumors, majority arising from the vestibular branch of the eighth nerve, commonly referred to as the acoustic neuroma, which is a double misnomer as it arises from the vestibular branch and not from the acoustic, nor is it is a neuroma. Now, rarely they may be found in periventricular location. Approximately 29% arise in the spinal nerve root. Now, these are typically slow growing benign lesions, uh, which mainly affect the sensory nerve. The spinal nerve tumor patients present with radicular pain and signs of nerve root or spinal cord compression. The eight cranial nerve tumors present with these patients present with hearing loss, tinnitus, loss of balance, pressure in the ear, and occasionally vertigo. Patients with NF2 present with bilateral vestibular tumor and pain is the most common symptom in patients with schwannomatosis and usually complete surgical imaging findings. On MRI, cranial nerve schwannoma present as an extra axial mass that is a CSF vascular cleft is present between the mass and the brain parenchyma displacing the cortex. Intratumoral cysts and hemorrhages are less common. A vestibular schwannoma has an ice cream on cone appearance while the trigeminal schwannoma look dumbbell shaped. Uh, on T1 weighted uh, images, cranial nerve schwannomas show intermediate signal while on T2 they present as iso intense or have mixed. Strong enhancement is noted on contrast images. A differential diagnosis for schwannoma is meningioma, epidermoid cyst, and arachnoid cyst. The spinal nerve schwannomas present as well circumscribed dumbbell shaped intradural extramedullary masses causing variable cord compression. These are ISO to hypo intense on T1 and hyper intense on T2 weighted images. Uh, macroscopy, these are solitary and globoid masses with smooth surface cut section shows firm light and glistening with white or yellow areas and with or without patches of hem coming to histopathology schwannomas are encapsulated spindle cell tumors composed entirely of well differentiated neoplastic schwann cells admixed with inflammatory cells macrophages and lymphoid aggregates now these are biphasic tumors with compact areas that is antony a tissue showing nuclear palisades forming veroque bodies alternating with loosely arranged cobweb like foci of antony b tissue the cells in the antony a areas have moderate eosinophilic cytoplasm discernible cell border and normochromic elongated tapered nuclei Cytoplasmic nuclear inclusions and nuclear pleomorphism or degenerative urtipia may be noted. Mitotic figures are rare. Loosely arranged collections of lipid laden cells may be present in both antony A and B areas. Foci of vacuolation are noted at the periphery. Pericellular reticulin is present in all the schwannomas. Now, the vasculature may be thick walled, hyalinized, uh, may show dilated blood vessels surrounded by hemorrhage, and such areas are commonly found 
in antony b areas thrombi may be present predominance of antony a tissue ball formation and lobular grape like pattern is most often noted in neurofibromatosis immunohistochemistry shows positivity for sox10 and s100 a differential diagnosis for schwannomas especially at the ct angle could be a fibroblastic meningioma now 85% accounts for schwannomas however whenever there is a fibroblastic meningioma these are known to exhibit s100 immunopositivity so in this case ema and somatostatin receptor 2a help us to distinguish it from a schwannoma and schwannoma will be positive for sox then so these are the important immunomarkers uh second is astrocytoma these do not have parenchymal reticulin and these are gfap and olic2 positive solitary fibrous tumor which are stat6 positive tumors sub ependymoma or tanocytic ependymomas these uh, express gfap s100 and ema positivity the subtypes of schwannomas are ancient schwannoma cellular plexiform epithelioid microcystic reticular pigmented and there are other patterns in which uh, the most common is a small blue cell prognosis and prediction schwannomas are benign slow growing tumors these do not recur when undergo gone gross total resection cellular and plexiform schwannomas are least amenable to total removal and sometimes only be debulked malignant transformation of conventional schwannoma is extremely rare and whenever it takes place it is in form of epithelioid mpnst thank you so much